my name is Kavya. I'm basically from Bangalore. I have joined Biocon in 2011 uh, as an intern and then moved into Biocon Biologics uh, from 2012 and currently I'm working in Analytical Development Lab. My dream was to only become a doctor. To be more specific, I wanted to become a cardiac surgeon. So since then I've been attending a lot of you know inter-school competitions and a lot of exhibitions, science related and that's when I realized that there's much more to you know explore. It's not just the medicinal field. So that actually that, that thing stuck to my mind. Okay, my future is going to be science and I'm not moving into any other direction and it's just going to be science and I've I've just I've been chasing my dream and I've landed up here. So when I joined Biocon as an intern, uh, I was a little scared. Okay, this is a corporate world. Will I really be able to work in such an environment? Uh, since slowly, then when I started, you know, in the multiple labs, when I started interacting with people, and this particular lab, analytical development, I'm every time when I look at that lab, I used to be like, oh wow, this lab is so exciting. I need to somehow get into this lab as an employee. Uh, so finally, I got in and. The, the day when I joined and there was nice mild music playing inside the lab and happy faces. I was like the 10th person to join in the lab and I was the youngest and that sometimes I was pampered. Uh, I felt really good. You know, the kind of people I had in the lab, they were extremely talented. You can learn a lot of things. People are always ready to teach. You have the best equipment here. You know, nobody tells you, no, this is not the right time to come. No, you can always learn. That, that approach is what I liked here and that is what is you know, making me stay in Baikon. I travel almost 70 kilometers a day and I leave behind a 20-month-old baby, uh, her name is Adya. It is extremely difficult, it is challenging because when I'm at work, uh, my mind gets distracted. Okay, am I doing really the good thing? Am I ignoring her? Am I not giving much attention to her? And if I start thinking about that, am I losing focus here? Am I not reaching my milestones on time? And all these comes into pictures. I, I have a very good support system, both at family as well as at work. I have a really great manager who, you know, all, who's always there. As I said, she's always extremely supportive and she tells me, yes, you can do it. You will do it. We are all there with you. So that statement is enough for any woman to, you know, come forward be brave and you know continue your passion. One woman's success is an inspiration to another. So I got inspired from my manager who is also a woman and my team is also led by a woman. And since I'm also, I'm also surrounded by a lot of women scientists who actually plays a very important role in our journey. And I would like to be one of those for my juniors. And please do not stop your passion just because you're married or you have a kid or you need to travel. No, when you have a team that is supporting you, please utilize that support. Do not stop chasing your dreams, chase it and you will definitely achieve it.